Hey guys, it's me Sambellas. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're gonna be building another Pinterest inspired build. So I have this little house over here. It looks very rustic slash cabin like and I mean I've never done a house like that before I think. Yeah, I have done a rustic house before. I have done a cabin before but I haven't done a mix and match of the two styles. So today we're gonna try that. Anyway, so the first thing that annoys me about this house is the roof line. Like how the freaking do you do that we're gonna have something like this over here the one part of the house is on stilts and the other side is basically solid concrete at the top not solid but it's a room up there we're gonna do something like this okay i know it's not a lining but we will make it work okay you know i think i got it i think i i i think i got it <laughs> but okay yeah let's focus on the most important part you know getting into this house so first off we're on stilts all right i think i might use these from horse ranch they're pretty cool why do you not want to go there like why why is this game so freaking hard sometimes you know like just do as i say <laughs> okay so we got some stability on the one side okay so over here we're gonna do a porch and we're gonna extend this mother over to i don't know let's maybe take it around the house to the back and then we can also add a little staircase at the back as well as well as well what the freak that i just say we can use this from horse ranch and then we can also use their fences yeah okay i know i'm extending the porch a little bit but i don't care because it looks good that way i suppose i don't care i hate that song so we have blue a very adorable grayish blue going on here i should do blue houses more often i really should because it's actually very pretty you know oh this from horse ranch is working beautifully you know the horse ranch pack is gonna be used a lot in this build i feel you know what i think i'm gonna do i think i'm gonna move this house to a smaller lot because you know i am kind of scared to you know furnish that whole freaking lot at the end of the day so yeah i'm just gonna save it okay so i know this is a lot to take in okay but yeah i mean that's what we have on the image and that is what we're sticking to anyway i decided to name this house cabin house on stilts i think it's kind of funny what do you guys think of this so far i think it's coming together nicely now i notice that we have a little patch downstairs where there is like exposed bricks now i'm wondering how the frick are we gonna do that you know just <laughs> I, I don't know hey this actually kind of looks pretty cool okay i'm 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 serious it actually looks kind of cool let's maybe take this whole wall exposed brick down here bring it over to this side like that looks super normal like i'm not gonna lie that looks so good actually all right sorry i don't know why i'm talking so soft today like i know my face is basically engraved on my mic by now but <laughs> and by that i mean i usually talk like super loud and stuff but i just feel like not talking so loudly and screaming into my mic like i usually do I'm not screaming but you know just talk a little softer than usual if you want me to go louder i will but i don't i'm not really in the mood to go too loud today guys i don't know why anyway so we cannot see the roof type on the image but i kind of like this it kind of works oh actually you know what i i'm so in love with this little house at the moment it's just not funny is this gonna work Fly me to the moon and let me sing you a little song. I don't know the lyrics to that song, but I like the song. Oh, okay, I like this one. This awning is from Snowy Escape. I really like that. But it's not really, you know, dancing along with the roof at the moment. So maybe we can change up the swatch so it can match our roof a little bit more. Hey, that kind of matches. That kind of works, actually. Now, we're not going to put this house on any foundation. By the way, this house's interior is extremely small. Like, you're not going to be able to do much in this little house on Honestly. but if we had to do a quick layout which we should have done since the start <laughs> we can take a double bed pop him in the middle over there and then we can already close up this room okay fly me to the moon and let me sing you a little song i'm pretty sure that's not how the song goes but please don't judge me okay i don't know why that song is stuck in my mind now i actually used to have that song on my phone and i don't know why i deleted it again okay let's yeah do that do that 
Okay, over here we have a bathroom, over here we have a bedroom, sweet. And over here is gonna be, well, basically only a kitchen and or a dining or a living room area, alright? Now, I'm not too worried about these windows having curtains because they are very safe, if I can put it that way. Like, you cannot see anything from the bottom if you had to look up and sneak up on the Sims taking a poop. Like, don't be a weirdo. It's not right to creep up on people like that, you know. You just stare at them through their window. Now, I know this lady that actually literally does that. She doesn't give a crap whether you're looking at her back or not. She will stare at you until she decides that she doesn't want to stare at you anymore. Like, yeah, I don't like it when people do that. It feels very invasive. You know what? I'm, I'm anyway gonna add the curtains just for some privacy because just thinking about that lady now made me feel like I need to cover up myself a little bit and um, cover up this bathroom as well because people from down below can still see or some showering like you can see the curtains over there the blinds now if you stand over here look at that you can see them you can see their naked bums and their lovely pieces i don't know um so yeah i'm i'm i'm, I'm gonna stick with the curtains okay <laughs> all right and all we need now is a toilet because i noticed that we don't have that yet Fly me to the moon, let me sing a little song. That's all that's stuck in my mind, those specific lyrics. Like, I cannot remember anything other than those lyrics. I know I'm an idiot. You don't need to remind me by telling me. Listen, those are not the lyrics. All you got right was fly me to the moon. The rest was all... Hocus pocus. I think I'm kind of happy with the layout of this bathroom. I will come back to it to, you know, replace some some of the objects and make it look a little nicer. Over here, we can do counters here. I'm sticking to horse ranch over here because I just love how rustic their stuff looks. Not just looks, but it is rustic and I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, we got a window. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> fridge jeez okay we got our fridge can i afford to move this door a tad bit yeah i think that's okay Fly me to the moon let me take you among the stars i don't know i will stop singing that song now is that does that make sense like that doesn't make sense at freaking all like it's a cool concept but the house is too small to do that i think Fly me to the moon okay we can have this over here this stove hood vent thingy a jiggy whatever you call that and over here we can have our sink because over here we can still prepare food on so i decided between the dining and the living room area and i think i'm gonna go living room because it makes the most sense i would prefer one or two sims living here because it's very cramped very small but at least it's nice and quick to furnish you know actually you know sometimes i feel like the smaller your houses are the longer you take to furnish them and sometimes that is the case with me Fly me to the sky and let me die in the sky. <laughs> okay, so we have a rug. Ooh, that's already the perfect size, but maybe not so oldish. Not so oldish and not so coldish. What the frick am I talking about? Okay, I think this rug is kind of fitting and it fits, you know. Ooh, I like that. How about the yellow? Ooh, I like that even more. Kind of matches our little chair, our sad little chair. All alone. Ooh, I would like to use this somewhere. That doesn't make sense at freaking all. It kind of looks good, but I'm not gonna do that. I want to use these things like freaking everywhere. As soon as I find them, I want to use them everywhere. Everywhere. Hey, that actually doesn't look that bad. I really want a different song to be stuck in my head because um, if I don't know the lyrics to a song, then I don't want it to be stuck in my head. <laughs> Fly me to my mom so that she can tell me I'm a terrible singer. In other words, shut the f*** up. Also, does this look right? Does this look good? I love the mint green. It's kind of complementary to the yellow. These curtains are a little bit too fancy for this house's style, I think. Does it look right to do this, you know? This curtain thing stretching all the way to the other piece. You know, just adding this plant over here makes everything look so much more special and fuller and more beautiful. That's what plants do, they're magic. They just light up a place, you know. I need to take a pee. Yeah, oh, I need to take a pee. And maybe I should do that before I pee. 
in my pants as a 26 year old i'll piss in my pants and i really don't want to do that so i will do that in a minute don't worry i won't forget it's not good to hold in your urine if it wants to come out it should come out okay we got a mirror over here what other swatches do we have in this bed oh i like that oh i didn't even know this is a high school years bed <laughs> this is a cool combo i feel we can use some rustic-ish wood for the balcony yeah i kind of like the look of this room being yellow also i still think this room is a little bit too empty for my taste so i think i'm gonna add a curtain in here as well little purple curtain okay i know we have this over here i'm gonna take this away trust me this is the same colors just it's doing this weird glitchy thingy okay okay i really wanted to redo this bathroom i'm gonna keep the toilet i'm gonna keep the shower and i'm gonna keep the sink all i want to change up is the mirror okay i think the lighting is good the bathroom is good the bedroom all right so now we can finally move on to the exterior of the house now i think i might add some pond of some sort over here just because our house is on stilts i'd really love there to be a pond my favorite part of this is filling it up with water you know adding some dirt to your pond never did anybody no harm because it gives your pond a little bit of realism and you know adding some rocks never did no lady no harm so add some rocks to your pond make it look a little bit more realistic as well dang you guys learn so much from this channel i know i know it's just so overwhelming the amount of things you learn on this channel i'm kind of overwhelming myself a little bit too i like the rocks because it actually just looks pretty freaking cool actually especially when they taper down to the bottom of the pond i must say i am pretty enamored with this little pond over here like i just love doing ponds nowadays something i don't whoops normally build on a daily basis okay, let's go over to spray paintings some rocks or pavers or cobbled together <laughs> Let's use these cliff hugger pavement spray. Make it look nice and welcoming. We got some pan going over to the bottom. That shouldn't happen. Beneath there, we can do a little barbecue area. And you're probably wondering, did that crazy woman empty her bladder yet? Yes, I did. I know you guys worry about me a lot, so I have to, you know, let you know that everything is fine. I did empty my bladder. Like, there's no issues, no problems. <laughs> Yeah, I wish. I can add some plants in the middle here too. Like a little circle. Maybe another circle over here. And over here. Oh, okay, wait. Let's put this in action real quick. See how it's gonna look. Ah, okay. I kind of like it. It's cute. It's cute. Some wildflowers. Sorry wildflowers we really need a world that looks you know kind of rustic and stuff so that you can build cabins like that there i know we have moonwood mill but that world is so dark and so werewolfy you actually want a world that's not dark and werewolfy because <laughs> i really am into the cabin style of build nowadays for no particular reason i just like it you know and don't forget about the rocks boys and girls it looks a little bit better than with without rugs. If we had to compare this house to the image, would you say it looks the same? I don't know. It kind of does. And over here, you know, where the plants are sticking through from the other side, I'm gonna cover that up. How am I gonna do that, you wonder? I'm gonna add a little platform running over there. Whoops, that took away the wall. Hey, I'm actually kind of getting an idea over here. Does that look weird? Should I actually keep the wall away? Like, does that look alright? I don't know. I just quickly want to fix my ceilings because I, I never do that. Why? Why aren't you allowing me to paint that? Don't be like that, honey bunny. I think it's because it's a platform. You know what? Let's not allow that to annoy us. At least we have some wood up there. Okay, I, I think we should maybe cover up this wall. Maybe just on one side. <gasps> I'm so clever. I'm learning, you guys. I'm learning. Look at me learning. It's, a, it's amazing. So you can stand here downstairs, you know, have a barbecue moment with your family and look at the pond. I'm only speaking a terrible Texan accent. I'm saying terrible Texan because 
because I'm not good at speaking Texan. Because I'm using the f horse ranch pack. That's why. It, it got me a little bit Texan-ish all of a sudden. Okay, so we have the barbecue over here. Okay, we got a buttload of plants on there. And then we can have some hanging plants. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I haven't used my favorite plant of all time yet, you know. I'll show it to you in a minute. Just give me a second. This baby right over here, you know. Such a gorgeous plant. You can never miss out on using this beauty. And the way it hangs into the pond just keeps me going, you know. This plant is... Oh my god, where did it go? This plant is the most beautiful thing you've ever seen in your life. You can never go wrong with it. I'll try my best to do a house tour in the Texas accent if you would maybe enjoy that. I still feel like my Texas accent needs a little bit of oil. It's not really good. But I try my best. I try my hardest. My mom was proud of me. Not really, but yeah, um, <laughs> but anyway, I think I'm just quickly gonna add the last items, you know, wrap this up. I love this plant. Anyway, then we could take a very lovely tour of our rustic cabin-esque house, I suppose. All right, you beautiful people, we are now gonna take a short tour of this small house. Why short tour? Because it's a very small house. Not gonna be doing too much touring up there. So over here, we have a little balcony, you know grandma and grandpa can sit here and talk about you know their grandchildren reminisce about their lives and stuff okay oh my god there's a plant sticking through but you know what we're just gonna ignore that anyway boys and girls over here we have our little living room and no don't ask me why that happened i have no freaking idea it's not supposed to be like that and i don't know how to freaking fix it so yeah just ignore that please okay anyway over here we have a very small kitchen big enough for two people and yeah the living room is very small and depressing i know over here we have the main bedroom and the only bedroom of this house i hope you guys like it and hope you uh like the color schemes i used i think it's kind of fitting kind of nice you know oh my god there's me all right it do and then we have the bathroom it's only one sink one shower and one toilet <laughs> All right, boys and girls, and oh crap, that's too low. Anyway, boys and girls, and then we go to the bottom floor over here. We have our lovely little barbecue area. Now you can sit and chillax over here, make some barbecue type food, I suppose. And over here, you can water your plants if you wanna, or just check them out. And over here is our little pond. I like it a lot. What what was glitching over there? Yo, don't be glitching, boy. Don't be glitchy. That's that's very embarrassing. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the build and, you know, all that stuff. <laughs> now, I'll see you all in the next one.